Kansas City's Classic Rock Station, 101 The Fox. Good morning. Slacker with you here on the Slacker Morning Show, 576-77FX. Monday, September 10th at Melbourne Country Club. It is the Welcome House Swing for Recovery Golf Classic, an event to benefit the Welcome House in Kansas City, an organization that has been here for nearly 50 years, and I'm very pleased to welcome the executive director of Welcome House, Mr. Jamie Boyle. Jamie, welcome to the Slacker Morning Show. Thank you. Thank you. Jamie, first of all, for those who may not be familiar with Welcome House, tell us a little bit about it. First of all, let me just say it's an honor to be here and share a little bit about the Welcome House and the mission of the organization. Welcome House, like you said, has been around almost 50 years. It's an 80-bed residential sober living recovery program for men, so adult men 21 years of age and older. The program was founded in 1971 by a group of men in an AA program, in an AA meeting, and they were, in essence, if you're familiar with the 12 steps the 12th step is working with other alcoholics and addicts in crisis they were in essence doing 12th step work so they would be contacted by men who were homeless or had been asked to leave their homes by their wives due to their alcohol and drug use and they were trying to figure out a play how do we work with these guys and put them in a sober environment and at first they passed the hat in their AA rooms and they rented sort of these shady motel rooms just to have a sober safe space to work with somebody in crisis And over the years, that developed and changed. And as demand grew, the organization grew. They started with a neighborhood house, and then they bought the house next door and connected it with a porch. And then they got one of those red brick apartment buildings you see sort of stamped out around Kansas City. And in 1986, we moved to the facility that we're in now at 27th and Paseo. And we're we're at at operational capacity. We have have 80 guys. Talking this morning with the executive director of Welcome House, Jamie Boyle, my guest. It's going to be difficult for men to at least take that first step to admit that they're powerless against sure. drugs and alcohol. As somebody in the program and in long-term recovery, you know, I, I think it's hard for any alcoholic or addict, male or female, to to get to a point of acceptance and then um, willingness to seek help. You know, I, there's a little bit of an added sort of. Um, component to that for men we don't like to ask for directions sure you know i mean it, it, there is some of that but you know what we find is that you know everybody's journey is different there are certainly some that recognize the issue and sort of get off the elevator earlier if you will me for example personally that wasn't that wasn't me i had to go all the way to the bottom but there's a humbling and sort of destructive kind of process that that really we see that has to happen for a lot of guys and it, it's incredibly unfortunate but that's what begins the change that can take place. And for most of the guys that come to the Welcome House, you know, that that's where they're at. You know, we, we get guys from all walks of life, professional people, skilled people, people with their own homes and apartments and places to go back to. And then we get others that the disease has taken them to the street and they really are just coming straight off the street. But they're in their final stages. You know, there's not a lot good that's going on for them. And if something doesn't change, the reality is they're going to get locked up they're going to die or miraculously they're going to accept become willing and get sober my guest this morning is jamie boyle he is the executive director of welcome house addiction is not a singular disease it does not just affect one person it affects an entire family and frankly, in my opinion, it affects a community. And for those listening, maybe you have a loved one who could use the help. Um, How can people reach out to you and your organization? We have a website, welcomehousekc.org. That's the place that I would suggest they start. They could always call us as well. For men that are interested in our program, it's a pretty simple process. Fill out a basic application and come in for an in-person interview. You don't have to have anything to come to Welcome House, which is a miracle sort of in and of itself. You know, you don't have to have a job. You don't have to have worked for the last however many years. If you have just the clothes on your back, um, if we've got bed space and you're sincere and want to change your life, then our mission says we're going to give you a shot. We're, we're not an organization, though, that um, you can participate in without accountability and responsibility, though. We're going to require that you get a job sure. and maintain full-time employment. We're going to require that you go to a meeting every day. We're going to require that you get a sponsor. There's some additional rehabilitative classes and courses that we're going to ask you to take. And, you know, our program is structured around nine months. And if we, you know, if we're effective and you're willing and serious, you know, at the end of that nine months, you'll have a pretty solid foundation in recovery. You know, it's an amazing thing. And as you mentioned, just showing up, being there and a willingness to 
begin your journey of recovery. But the way that an organization like yours continues to offer that to everybody is through donations and uh, through sponsorships like our golf tournament that will be taking place. And if, if people are listening and they want to be get a golf team, there's still room to do that? Actually, we're sold out. There are a few limited sponsorship availability, availabilities that don't include golf, and we certainly could use some additional volunteers if you want to be a part of the event. But I got to tell you, you know, Shawnee Mission Health stepped up this year and is our presenting sponsor, and we couldn't be more grateful and pleased about about that and then just working with the Shawnee Mission Health team. And Kansas City is a very philanthropic community. You know, we our guys pay $22 a day, basically. It's an all-inclusive daily program fee to participate at Welcome House. That's a little bit less than half of what it costs for us to have a person sure. in the program. So, you know, while they contribute, that's great. We couldn't do what we do without the generosity and support of the folks in Kansas City. Well, man, I just want to say thank you to you and all of your team and all of the, the members who take that first step to sobriety. Look forward to hopefully seeing you out on the golf course. Awesome. Thanks, Lacker. The Slacker Morning Show. I have a long commute, so it's interesting to listen to you. Because it gets me going in the morning while I'm in my car. I just look forward to getting in my car in the morning and listening to them riding to work. 101 The Fox.